Well. Andy, thanks for joining us. Um, pitch renovations are in full swing behind us. What's, uh, what's going on? Yeah, we, we started this morning with the pitch reno renovations. Uh, luckily enough, the weather's been with us as well because it plays a massive part in how we renovate the pitch. At the present time, as you can see in the background, we, what we're doing is stripping 10 mil of the grass out of the surface. Obviously, we invested in the surface two years ago with a Deso system. And as you can see in the background, even where the grass is coming up, it's leaving the green synthetic watch stitched into the pitch, which is around 3% of the pitch. You know, this, this, this is such a, a, a core operation for us. We only get one chance of this, so we have to get it right. And uh, we have to have the ideal weather conditions. If the weather changes, we have to stop. And it's also important for us that we, we get this right because we've got this all season and we've such a busy season ahead. And also it's a tight, tight frame as well for us to do this work. I was going to say it is quite tight because the season ended several weeks ago, yes. but you've had play on the pitch events since yeah. then, haven't you? Which, is, which has held you up a little bit. Yes, we have. Um, I think one of the things in investing in the pitch uh, two years ago as well was that we can maximise revenue in the stadium as well. So we've had fa just under five weeks of play on the pitch. I think it's around 60 games, five, four or five five-a-side competitions. Uh, and then obviously we've they've put the Wolves friendly in there. So timescales are tight, but we have done these timescales before. We've had pop concerts over the years. And when we reconstructed the pitch two years ago, we had four and a half weeks to grow the pitch in then. So, mm. I mean, I'm a complete layman. So they're, they're taking the grass off here. Then is it a case of almost putting a layer of topsoil on it or uh, something? Or yeah, yeah, well, the process is now, now we're taking uh, 10 mil of the grass out, which takes all the, all the grass out, all the organic material. What happens is why we have to do this process is the pitch is made up of 80%, 85% sand. So we've got very little soil in the pitch. It's only around 15%. And what happens out throughout the season, all the grass clippings, some of the grass clippings off the players' boots, uh, when we do various operations with the pitch through maintenance in the season, forms a black layer across the pitch. So what it does, it caps the sand. And it's important that we take this black layer away because in winter time, when it gets wetter and, the, and the conditions we have to be able to play football and the pitch has to drain at a very high rate so it's very important we remove this organic material and what we'll do then we'll spike the pitch we'll aerate it we'll put millions of holes into the pitch to get some aeration into into the profile and then we'll reseed it top dress it and then we grow the pitch in from seed so i think it's around by the time the seed goes in the ground maybe four and a half five weeks to the walls fixed it so it's going to be tight but it's a, it's a challenge that we uh, we like. Give us a guesstimate of when you've seeded the pitch. When will you be cutting it? How soon will you be cutting it? Uh, if if the condition, weather conditions and the temperatures are going to be the same over the next ten days or so, I'd expect the seed to start raising its head in around five six days time. We'll probably be cutting the pitch around that day nine day ten, and as soon as we start cutting the pitch, the pitch starts thickening up. And we, and we we apply a lot of uh, organic fertilizers as well to the pitch you know we changed the philosophy how we work in the stadium as well we've become chemical free so over the last two years we've put a lot of work into our maintenance regimes at the stadium as well mm. it's always important to get it right but there's going to be more games on this pitch next season isn't there yeah we, we're gonna have is it three four, four more game home games next year you know, it's, it's, it's something we've worked with before. Uh, it's, once the fixture list comes out, we put our plans into place, how, where, where we see where we've got back-to-back -back games, what, what's the Christmas schedule like over that period, what's it like around the FA Cup fixtures, and we put plans into place in our maintenance regimes. And it is going to be a tough season, you know, because the long days, match days, the 12, 14 hours days for the staff. Uh, so it's going to be tough, but we've, we've done it before, and. You know, it's up to us to produce the results we had last year. And of course, this work that's taking place here is being replicated down at, at the training ground. That's been ongoing since April, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the lads at the training ground have been really busy with pitch renovations since the end of April. Uh, we've done the academy pitches. As soon as the players finished their last training session, the first team, before we went to Swansea, we were stripping the pitches that afternoon on the Saturday afternoon. 
and we've got a similar growing time there because the players report back on June, June the 27th. We've only got around six weeks to grow the pitches back in there, so it's it's tough time scales, but something we're used to now. Yeah, we've got a new manager in Gary Rowett. Different managers have different ideas yeah. about how they want things prepared. Have, have you had a chance to speak to him about that yet? I, I've briefly spoke to him, not so much in detail about what he wants next season. I think it's a case of let him settle in, have a look at the pitches, and I'm, I'm, I'm positive that he'll uh, he'll put his views forward to us and uh, let us know what he what he wants. He might want to change the height to cut. Uh, he might want the pitches drier, wetter. You know, and once we get that remit from from him, we'll uh, follow that suit. And finally. This is taking place now, but will it happen again in 12 months' time? Will it be exactly the same yeah, process? It's, it's the same process. We, you know, we do this process every year, and it's very important that we remove this organic material so the pitch can drain. So we've done it for the last 17, 18 years, and we'll carry on doing that process.